Given today's topic and the fact that I think the author would highly disapprove if I bored you with a long introduction, uh, I'm going to jump right in. So today's book is called Badass by Kathy Sierra and it's all about making users awesome. So Kathy is actually the co-founder of the Head First uh, series, which is a series of uh, really user-friendly programming books. So her perspective on uh, consumer strategy and how to treat consumers, I think, is incredible and one that I wish more companies would adopt uh, because I think it would really make a huge difference uh, with the quality of the products and the messaging um, that there is right now out there. So. I'm going to start with giving you sort of a high level view of the book. So the mindset behind um, Kathy's approach to consumers is really constantly asking yourself, what would you do differently if your results depended on your user's results? So again, it's removing the goals of your company or your product or whatever it is um, and your success metrics, removing them from the quality of your product or your sales or anything like that and really looking at your users and what makes them uh, better, more powerful, more badass. So I think it's a really interesting approach. Um, I think the reasoning behind it is that people are not concerned about you know how good they are at your product. They're concerned about themselves and how great that they look because of your product. So give a concrete example. Um, if you sell photography equipment, you know, maybe you sell a camera, for example, customers are not looking to be an expert at your camera. Um, they want to be experts at photography. So your job, rather than teaching them the specs or, you know, how user friendly your camera is, is really focus on what's going to make them a better photographer. And there's a lot of different things that, um, approaches that you can take with that but one of the best ways and what Kathy goes into is really making them experts at um, this greater thing which in this case would be photography so the key to expertise based on research is two things one it's starting with deliberate practice so helping your users come up with tasks or you know challenges that are going to help them become experts at this um, particular skill set. So ideally, when you're breaking down these tasks or these skills, um, research has shown that you want them to be uh, skills that can be achieved in one to three sessions of 45 to 90 minutes. So if it's a skill that takes longer than that, then it's too complex um, and you need to break it down further. So for example, let's say um, you're trying to teach an instrument to someone. You could give, uh, rather than having them, you know, complete an entire concerto overnight, you would want to set up a session about, you know, maybe having them um, play a section of a song at half speed for, um, you know, a certain amount of time without making any errors. That could be um, a proper task for deliberate practice. The next part for expertise is actually creating perceptual exposure. So what this means is giving examples of what expertise looks like. Um, fortunately, our brain is incredibly powerful and really good at recognizing patterns, uh, frequently even faster than we're able to articulate those patterns ourselves. So if you were um, trying to get them again to be better photographers, then just showing them examples, ideally, a lot of them, so hundreds of examples of what a great photograph looks like can be better at helping them become experts than actually trying to teach them the methodology behind it. Um, beyond teaching them to be experts, the other thing you want to do is actually encourage your users to move forward, to keep learning. And the way that you do that is one, you want to remove blocks. So frequently when we start to learn a new skills, there are things early on that block us. Uh, one of those things can be just things that are complex um, and a good way of removing that block is just warning people, letting them know, hey, you know, this is hard and it's hard for everyone. So get through it. We've been there before and just carry on. And just kind of that acknowledgement um, tends to help and go a long way. The other thing is owning up to your mistakes. So if you know that your product is bad at something or difficult at something because you've read it in forums or in comments or, you know, you've, you hear it from customer care, just own up to it. Uh, customers don't expect you to be perfect, they just expect you to be honest. Um, the other thing is you want to create a progress map so that they can see where they're going. 
um, you know, a, a great skill set that does this is karate, for instance. The whole belt system kind of gives you a, a benchmark in terms of, you know, if I start here, then I go to here, and then you can kind of see that progression. And that's incredibly motivating over time. Uh, the final thing to really kind of creating badass consumers is helping the brain uh, not lose its cognitive resources. So as powerful as our brain is, uh, studies have proven that cognitive processing and willpower actually both tap into sort of the same well of energy. So when you're tapping and you're taxing the brain, um, the resources, you're then hindering their ability to remain strong. So what does this mean? Is if you have an overly complex website, for instance, um, if you're bombarding users with too many decisions, um, if you have a design that's not intuitive, if you have buttons without labels, for instance, all of these things are taxing the brain because it's having to figure it out, um, even you know subconsciously. And by doing that, you're exhausting the brain to a certain degree that is then diminishing their ability um, to remain strong, to have willpower, which is usually what you need to again engage and have. Um, the strength to start a new skill and to learn a new skill. So don't do that for your users. Um, the other thing is uh, drawing attention to the things that matter. So there's obviously a lot of information, but not all of it is crucial. And the way that our brain works is that it's meant to ignore the things that aren't life threatening um, because otherwise we'd be constantly bombarded with things. So if you know that something is important to develop the expertise in this area, then you need to find ways to draw the user's attention to that and to create um, alertness in their brain. So again, the reason that uh, images of babies and uh, puppies work really well is because our brain is drawn to things that are like young and vulnerable. Um, so use those logically, ideally. Um, also using you know bright colors tends to work really well. Um, you know things with really intense emotions, facial emotions, both in humans and in animals. Uh, these are all things that the brain is sort of hardwired to pay attention to. So. High level, that's kind of what the book goes into. Uh, there's a ton of really great research and details. Um, again, it's called Badass by Kathy Sierra. And I think it's a great one. I recommend it highly, highly. Um, and I hope that companies and products uh, take a bit more, um, take this approach when it comes to designing for consumers. I think it would make it a much better place. So thank you.